Oh, you stupid thing. I'm going to break it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't notice you there. Hello, greetings, and welcome. It's Postag here. It's that time again where we rub the shoulders with the titans of the Overwatch community as we are showered with the knowledge on the Blizzard forums. And what a better time to do it when a new hero is on the horizon. Everyone needs to chill out over a cartoon. The fact that you guys are freaking out because people are not using the proper pronouns for Venture is sad. She's a bunch of pixels that has no real thoughts or feelings. Just a cartoon. The fact I see people in game already screaming and crying about it in all the forums is just utterly sad. If you have this much built up anger, then get off for a bit and go outside or something. Edit. Flat for trolling. Thanks for proving my point. If you can't respect people's feelings, then you should go outside or something. I suspect we could all benefit from more time outside. Ah yes, pronouns. A sticky topic to navigate, but my position is this. If you tell me you're a cat and you purr like a cat, I'll pet you like one and maybe even let you sit in my lap like Hamish here. <laughs> but if you drop a dead mouse at my door and expect me to eat it, then you can shove it up your catnip. That's what you can do! What are we talking about again? Oh, <laughs> yes, Venture. Cool hero. Can't wait to dig underground and cause a fissure so deep that Junker Town completely collapses. I hate that map. Good riddance. So, possibly no more curvy skins? Come on, Microsoft. Microsoft cautions developers to avoid curvy female characters. According to Niche Gamer. True. We need more hypersexualized heroes like Sigma and Hammond. You're not wrong. Sigma is a distinguished gentleman who went mad from being constantly courted by a variety of vacuous gold diggers. They had to tone down his aesthetic, if you know what I'm saying. You know, buff out the chrome from the dome to keep those thirsty harlots at bay. As for Hammond, have people not heard of furries? Me when I got the Asmodan skin for Ball and it gives him fully modeled nipples and nipple rings. <laughs> I can't. I can't look. I mean, it's not just female characters. They nerfed Blackwatch Reaper's cheeks, too! Reaper's cheeks? I bet I've used that Blackwatch skin countless times and his face looks completely unchanged to me. Oh. Oh, good heavens. There's Curfee and then there's Mercy and Widow jumping all over the map with collapsed spines. I literally know somebody with Widow's exact shape. Please. I humbly request photos of this spectacular specimen for scientific purposes, of course. I would be interested to know what peer-reviewed material could possibly arise from having someone send you a picture of their friend. Either it would be to showcase people who are able to function normally with the most severe case of anterior pelvic tilt ever known, or you, sir, are a degenerate. Can we just call Venture Mole? Like, I think it would be a good call-out. It's one syllable and fits with the underground theme. When focusing, mole, mole, mole. When calling out abilities, mono burrow. Almost every hero has a shortened name for the call-out to say it faster. Rhine, not Reinhardt. Tarb, not Tarbjorn. Monkey, not Winston. There's a few exceptions, of course. What do you say? Can we go with mole? I like it better than worm, which I've heard already. In one of my matches with her, someone said Diglett, which I think is phenomenal. Nominal, but mole is good too. Maybe spade? You know, I quite like the idea of a nickname for our new hero. It has to be said though that in the circles of the posh, saying mole or spade doesn't really roll off the tongue as quickly as venture. Tell you what, you can have mole so long as Tracer is forever known as Tray Tray and Hanzo is a... C oh. <laughs> well, we'll come up with something for him. Please redo Venture's player model. Overwatch has always had good-looking player models. Mercy, Sombra, Kiriko, Ash, Tracer, Widow, etc. Even the guys look good. Ryan, Hans, or Life Weaver, Bap, etc. But when I look at Venture, I'm like, meh. Couldn't the devs have come up with a better-looking model for her? This is definitely a choice slash direction to make her look this way. Her voice lines are super cute to me, but it just doesn't match. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. I've seen similar comments in the text chat. Am I being shallow? Sure, but I just wanted to express my opinion in an open forum. That's all. Aside from her player model, I'm digging her play style and what she can do in game. Solid hero all round. Thumbs up. There's nothing wrong with expressing an opinion. I too gaze upon heroes such as Roadhog and I could see myself snuggling into that welcoming belly on a summer's eve next to the campfire. But consider that Venture is a character who burrows underground where, well, a brown coat just seems like a good idea and a practical one. Besides, the cosmetic shop is there to trump the vanilla skins and entice the plebeians to part with their hard-earned cash that they may receive and, well, an aesthetically pleasing legendary skin.
Zarya needs to be more feminine going forward. Out of every character in the game, Zarya is the only ones who have one shop skin and zero legendary shop skins. It's pretty well known that this game is just waifu dress up for the most part as the characters with the most purchasable slash expensive skins are female. Kiri and Souljourn have around eight, Sombra has seven, Diva, Mercy, Ryan, <laughs> Six. Widow, Tracer, Ash, Junker Queen, Widow, May, Moira, five. But majority of male characters have two, three, or four purchasable skins. So I say we make Zarya look very feminine in her next costume, as that seems to be what the people want. Who is with me? Since, you know, the whole purpose of this game now is to make money from the shop. Since there is no other reason why we had to change from Overwatch 1 to Overwatch 2. Dot, 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 dot. There is no way this isn't hardcore bait. Okay. Well... It probably is bait, but these days you just never know. Okay, where to start with this one? I suppose the closest scratch for your itch would be the 80s aerobic gear skin. But consider this. Zarya's biceps are comparable to bowling balls. She makes Ivan Drago and Rocky IV look like a busboy, and you want to put one of the most ferocious warriors in the known universe in a crop top and hot pants? Let's face it here. You are either after death by Snoo Snoo, or you want Zarya to crush your head between her thighs as a welcome demise. So many crybabies. Why are there so many sensitive people playing this? What's wrong with being sensitive? Posh has feelings too, you know. They feel targeted when you try to dive them. They say you have anger issues if you play a bit too aggressive for their taste. They start fighting if you eliminate them and try to keep them off the objective. By the way, I wasn't the one playing aggressive. It was someone on the enemy team a while back and someone on my team started asking if they needed therapy and had anger issues, to which the person replied they were just trying to have fun? Question mark? There's a Swedish saying, Dolph Lundgren Swedish IKEA flat pack meatballs, which translates to, if you want to play the game, you have have to stand the game. So stop expecting happy sunshine holding hands game. It's a pew pew boom boom by beach game. Overwatch attracts people from all walks of life. RPGs, shooter fans and those poor unfortunate souls who play Stardew Valley on the Switch. But regardless of who we bump into, there is one constant that binds many players together and that is the need to express ourselves. Perhaps those enemies were but hurt at being unable to counter your aggressive teammate who is totally not you. <laughs> no, I, I understand. But here we are on the forums complaining about the complainers, leaving a potentially limitless chain where a boy could tell his girlfriend about your forum post that he thought was negative, only for the girl to tell her mother about the boy who moans too much, which causes the mother to tell her father, who tells his friends down the pub that about his angry wife, and then they recommend divorce, and before you know it, you've just destroyed an entire family because of your whining. <laughs> that escalated quickly, didn't it? Of course, I'm kidding. It probably destroyed the father's friendships as well. You have to delete a hero. Who? Who are you deleting? It's Mercy or Life Weaver, and it's not even close for me. Sombra, no doubt about it. And maybe Widow. Genji or Lucio, not common answers to this question, but I find the two of them to be the most annoying heroes in the game. You picked two, so I will also. Moira and Roadhog. Venture. Venture hasn't even been released yet. A hero built entirely around one idea of digging underground, and that's as far as the devs got when designing them. Everything else was scrapped together to make that one idea a reality, and it has caused the hero to release a jumbled mess. Could make a joke about the hero having no identity, but I will refrain. Thank goodness for your restraint. You are a beacon of hope in a world of chaos. Let's just skip the filler hero and bring Space Ranger forward to season 10. This is the Rampart season for Overwatch. Any Apex players will understand. <clears throat> I'm something of an Apex player myself. I do understand that reference. However, a hero does not a season make, and Rampart's pick rate actually plummeted due to a very niche playstyle coupled with lack of an oh poop button when in trouble. Venture has this much needed escape coupled with mobility to change levels with the drill as well as disgusting burst damage. Reaper mains everywhere will be rejoicing, and I suspect that, well, let's just say I'll be playing the mole quite a bit too. I already posted in this topic, but can I delete someone twice just to be sure? I will allow it. If yes, then I'm naming Sombra again. Oh, well, since everyone else is taking a turn, perhaps Poshtag should as well. I'm quite confident that Overwatch would be much better off without Hanzo, simply because we would not then have to listen to his endless monologues about lifelong regrets and about how Genji stole his favorite toy when they were toddlers. The next Overwatch hero should be a dentist. Just saying, we need more medical representation. 
That's going to do it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you could caress the like button for me. And remember, I have a Patreon with content that has no paywalls whatsoever because I'm completely dead inside. But the videos themselves, they're full of life. <laughs> Toodle pip.